everyone, I'm Simone Stanley at Lake Point Sports here today at the Minority Baseball Prospects Showcase. I'm joined by Class of 2023 shortstop and third baseman Trey Phelps. Trey, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So first of all, congratulations on your commitment to UGA. Thank you. Um, I love UGA. You big bulldog. He's a big bulldog, y'all. Not a little one. And you're a Georgia native. You're staying in state. What is it about the baseball in Georgia that's making you want to stay as a hometown guy? Um, honestly, ever since I was a kid, it, Georgia just always been a hotbed for baseball. I really love being around all the people. And going to Georgia, I just feel like it's a big accomplishment for me. And just honestly, I didn't want to go far from home anyway. But I just feel like I felt like I was still at home while I was away from home. That's amazing. We love to hear that. And Georgia has been known recently for their football program. What makes their baseball program stand out? Um, just the guys who's been going and they develop a lot. They like football. They go in, you know, OK, this guy's coming in. Baseball, you may not know a few guys and they end up turning them into a bigger guy. So I just think it's a really good place for me in general. And speaking of big guy, I see your exit speed is touching the low 100s. What's the workout routine? How are you so powerful at the bat? Um, honestly, lifting wise, um, during the off season, one I do one body one body part every single day. So Monday I may do chest, Tuesday biceps and back, Wednesday legs, and just switch it up every week. Um, but every everything I would say comes from legs, and my chest probably got the most bigger this past this past summer, which has added a lot of strength to my wrist. You hear that, guys? Don't skip leg day, please. Please don't skip leg day. <laughs> I got calf. I got cow muscles down here, feel me? Big legs. We hear you. So you're playing shortstop and third base right now. What makes you so dangerous in the hot corner, and what position are, do you want to focus on on the next level? Um, honestly, I think in the hot corner, what helps me, I'm such an athlete. A lot of third basemen usually either stocky and can just hit and can't get here to here to here to here. Honestly, I can play third like a shortstop and be here, 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 come here. But honestly, in the future, as I'm, I'm going to get bigger, grow outwards, taller. So I'll probably focus on third base a little bit more. Okay, definitely. And the scouts have a lot of great things to say about your game, especially your powerful bat. But what do you think is the best part of your game right now? Honestly, my bat is definitely the best part of my game. No doubt about it. And what do you think is the most underrated part of your game right now? Underrated? It's a tie. Oh, my bad. It's a tie. Uh, my glove, a lot of people don't know my glove. It gets sticky out there. Y'all know what sticky means. That's good. That's good. And speed, um, I don't run six, six, seven, six, eight, but bases wise, I mean, be top three stolen bases on any team. You guys hear that? <laughs> so, last thing I gotta ask you, do you have any MLB comparisons or any guys in the pros you model your play style after? Um, I honestly don't know who I can say myself is like. I've heard I've heard the Tatis, the Machados, the probably just those two the most. Um, honestly, I've heard a little bit of Josh Donaldson too. Big power guys. Big power guys. Trey Phelps is definitely a big power guy already. Guys, I'm Simone Stanley, joined by Trey Phelps here at Lake Point Sports. Thank you guys so much.